is actually, we're going to start with an older song. It's called Why. I've sung some records here and there. <laughs> My name is Mark. I'm an advisor at the Berkeley Online Campus, and uh, I'm here today with Wayne Krantz, one of my favorite guitar players. Uh, we just launched a jazz guitar certificate at the online school, and I uh, want to talk to Wayne a little bit about his experience as a Berkeley student, hmm. um, and also uh, your career beyond Berkeley. So my first question was about, you know, you came from the Northwest. That's it. So what drew you to want to continue music with Berkeley? Uh, when I was just getting out of high school, there was, at the time, we're talking about um, mid-70s, there was only two places to go, really, to go to college and go to music school with modern music. It was Berkeley and North Texas. And uh, I'd always had kind of a romantic idea about Boston for some reason. I don't know why. I visited there as a kid once and liked the idea of it. And I, it was far away from my home, and uh, which I liked. <laughs> and my parents really wanted me to go to college, and I really wanted to play guitar. So um, that was a way to satisfy both of those those yeah. needs. Since then, it's become guitar central. Yeah. I mean, it's got the most wide approach to guitar of any place I've ever been in the world. I mean, it's it's the guitar program in the world. They have a bunch of bad MFs teaching there and you know they bring people in for short term and so there's always people there that are great and real players you know people that are doing stuff and and uh, you know Larry and Rick are basically about the masterminds of that you know they're the ones that realized it needed to be as broad as possible which is great and Larry and Rick they both have a huge presence in the online school that's cool that's great. Yeah. then it's going to be a success because yeah. those guys are successful I just you know launched a counterpoint class for this term mm -hmm. and I, I just feel like you know as a Berkeley student and as a student of music not just a Berkeley student mm -hmm. I feel like that's really important to understand and I think that's something that jazz students might take for granted they might not think of they might think of it as Beethoven and you know triad harmony and that stuff. Sure, sure. Well, it's taught like that often. That's what a counterpoint class is often taught as traditional counterpoint like that. Yeah. So how do you think you uh, you know how did you wrap your brain around like okay so now I really want to develop this style in my left hand and right hand mm -hmm. to be able to kind of marry those two things and sound like my one, a one man band because hmm. I've I've heard you do that I've been, I've been like. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, the guitar, the guitar lends itself to that. Yeah. And, you know, it's an orchestra, the guitar, and, and um, at some point I, I realized rhythm was really a, like the most important thing to me. Like I, I this, I've said this before, I'll say it again quickly. I think every musician maybe has one of the basic elements, whether it's melody, harmony, rhythm, or sound. I, I think that every musician kind of has one of those four things that is held m most dear, kind of, is most central to their musical being. And for me it was rhythm, like that. I, I identified that it was, and when I realized that it was, I just made the decision, okay, now everything that comes out from now on is going to be based in rhythm, whether it's melody or harmony. And, and, uh, and so that aesthetic kind of colored what I was writing and how I, then I learned how to play over what I was writing. And to a degree, that's what I did. I just started writing with this kind of rhythmic aesthetic and contrapuntal aesthetic in mind and then tried to figure out what kind of guitar playing would sound good on this because the standard post-bop thing that I was into at the time didn't really sound that great over it. So that was kind of a way into sort of trying to find a more a style that's kind of more personally adapted to the stuff that's coming out as a, as a composer, as a writer, I should say. Do you find yourself writing like that a lot? It starts with a rhythmic idea? Or? <sighs> yeah, although... I don't really mean it like that because it's not like I'm hearing drums first or anything, but like the rhythm and the melody usually happens almost at the same time. But you know, if the, if the, I, if, like I'm not, my melody stuff is not just like it might be. It's more like like something like that. So it comes out as like a rhythmic statement that also has melody attached to it. So, and then with that, I use counterpoint to fill that out with the guitar or with the band, so that in those spaces there are things happening maybe, or bits of it are used by other instruments and then they depart. And, and you know, you just kind of try to orchestrate the idea, flesh it out, first for the guitar maybe, and then for the band. Well, thanks a lot, Wayne. Thanks. Really appreciate it, man. Thank My you pleasure. so much for your time.